This time we're going to try out module CPU 2. So we have CPU 1, CPU 2, two modules, just a variation of the theme, let's say. So check out the wiki page from Polybar. And we have an interval of one second, which is currently enough. And then the standard background and foreground are defined all the way at the bottom. I'm ah, sorry, at the top. There you will see the colors that are defined. And we can get a new icon if we have um, the font awesome cheat sheet on a browser. You just copy paste uh, from there. I've shown it in other videos already. If you want to have a coloring foreground, so if you want this bar under the icon, if you want this bar under the CPU here, then this is the color. If you want to change the color, GPIC is a good tool for, to do that. You know, I always make uh, publicity for this one. Go ahead and check out what elements you can change, what color you can change here, and choose the hexadecimal code you like. Or find it in a browser online. It's the same. Label font tree is necessary. Don't change this one because it's pinpointing this one. That one is pinpointing the percentage on that place. If it's uh, if if you delete this line, you get this one and two that is changing all the time. If you have one digit or two digits, so when you go over from nine percent to ten percent, or you go over to hundred percent, one two three digits then you st start seeing that it all moves about and that's not nice. So we have made a monospace font and that's the label font three and the fonts are all the way up in there. And that's number three. Some padding um, with which you can of course stop as well. If you say, okay, a little bit more space or not. Let's see if we can see it. Not so good to see. like so so probably need to exaggerate and here you see the padding in here so this is the padding between well the separator and the other separator so if you just want to have zero that's possible too all right so these are all the things you can change and we're now skipped all the way to the top maybe we should stay here so the font we're talking about the colors the colors are here and the font is also defined up here so one zero one two so one two three that's how we refer to it it's i know it's a bit strange um so this is font one this is font two and this is font three it's like it is all right so we are talking about cpu uh two i guess where is oh it's way down there somewhere here voila so we're talking about a font label font. So that's the line three there. And that's it for the rest. You can change things here, uh, delete the CPU. If you don't want these letters there, just the icon is enough. That's just text that's in here and save it again. And there you go. You have something different already. Let's keep it as it was. All right. That concludes this tutorial.